song. What the f was that? Hey guys, it's me, Luke, and welcome to my 100 kills of Bandos episode. So, um, this was going to be the last episode, but someone in the clan did remind me that uh, I haven't actually done Dagonoff Kings. So there will be an episode next week before the tab sale, uh, where I'll just, I think I'll duo uh, the Dagonoffs because it's quite hard to solo. I've never actually soloed before. Um, it might not be that bad, and if it isn't, then I'll just, I'll solo it as well or something. But, um, yeah, I'm planning to duo that at the moment with Yaks to bank all the good loots and stuff. But anyway, uh, on to the drops for this episode. So um, I actually did get quite a few decent drops this episode, which is awesome. Uh, this is the first one coming up. Which we'll see in a second. Uh, <clears throat> I haven't. Have, I've, I've had all right luck at Bandos. I've had one solo drop before, and I actually got four this episode, so it's pretty cool. You will see the first one coming up here, and it is Bandos chestplate, which was awesome because it's the most expensive item you can get. So that was my first solo BCP. My second one I've ever had. I had one uh, quite a big split once, but other than that, I've never had one before. And that, of course, was not even the first drop for this episode, so which was awesome. Uh, I'm not sure if this episode is better than the Saradomen episode. I can't remember for the off the top of my head. I know definitely it was better than the Armadol and uh, Zami. Um, even if I'd got drops at Zami, I don't think it would have been better. But maybe Armadol, because I think Armadol's drops are more consistently good. Whereas Bando's, like, the BCP's were quite a bit more than the rest of the stuff. The next most expensive item, I'm pretty sure, is Tassets, which is around 7 mil. So there's quite a big gap there of 6 mil gap between the items. Whereas Armadol are all around 7 or 8 mil. Which isn't bad, I suppose. I don't know. But, um, anyway, the second drop now was Bando's Boots, which always used to be a massive troll drop from Bando's. But now, actually, it's not as bad as you'd think because they're about 2 mil. So, in terms of God Wars drops, I mean, that's as good as this, like, the second best drop from, uh, Zami anyway. So, that's pretty decent in itself. <coughs> so, that's pretty cool to get. I think that's my first pair of Bando's Boots, actually. Um, so I have got a drop log type thing on a notepad document where I just put all the drops I get from God Wars, uh, Nex and KK. It's really cool. So they're obviously now on that list, which means I've nearly completed all of the Bandos items. I did want to speak about that actually. A couple of minutes comes to the next clip. In terms of my next series, I, I'm kind of tempted to do a Robin the Generals type series. Um, I PM Dardan on YouTube because uh, obviously he did the well, not, probably not the original series, probably been done before him, but he's on the one that most people would know. So I wouldn't want to steal his series, so um, I did PM him, but that drop there was Bando's Hilt. But anyway, yeah, he said it, I could definitely do it, and he he said these uh, series like that are always cool to watch. So if you guys would want that, I might do that type of series. It would take a lot of my time, and it could go on for ages, but please leave in the comments if you'd like me to do a series like that. But yeah, anyway, Bando's Hilt, I did price it right here, it's about 1.8 mil. So um, <coughs> again, another pretty decent drop around the same as Bando's Boots. Anyway, I will see you in a second for the price check. Okay, so welcome to the price check for this episode. So, um, in terms of, oh, well, I've actually accidentally taken out the wrong thing there. There you go. I got a, um, I did get a, uh, a rare drop table of, um, I thought it said clean torsos, so I was quite excited. It was actually clean toad flaxes. But, um, they came to like, I think it was around 150k, yeah, 157k. Picked up, banked all the org bones with my yak, which is definitely worth doing if you have it. Uh, quite a few for you, rune long swords, adamant ore, rune plate bodies, rune 2h, magic logs. So 1.8 mil in regular drops, and then with the unique items, it's 18.5 mil. Then the chest plate obviously adding a lot onto that tally, as well as the two drops here. I'm not sure how much the uh, god sword and the boots actually go for, but I would say if you're going to sell the hilts, always make it to god sword first, because more people are buying the god sword for a higher price than they're just buying the swords, and, uh, the hilts on their own. And then I also got an Elite Clue Scroll, which is pretty cool. Um, I, this is only my second Elite Clue Scroll, so I actually got it back to back, that same kill, um, kill before, sorry, I got a hard Clue Scroll, but then um, I didn't pick that up, and then the next kill I got an Elite, so that's quite nice. Um, now, I did think this was the last episode, but it's actually not. I forgot to do Dagonoff Kings, um, and then that's all the bosses that I can do at the moment. Uh, I still haven't, got, I haven't got access to Automatons, Glacors, Ultimate demons. So in the future, if I do, um, which I probably will, because I'm working on the, some of the crash requirements at the moment for uh, um, Ritual of the Marjorat, um, if I do do that quest, uh, then I might just make it as a one-off type thing. But um, currently, I'm working on a, uh, a series called I think it's going to be called Warband Warband Adventures, 
where the other day we just we went pecan at the wilderness war bands and stuff and it was really really fun and we had a great laugh so i'm just going to cut down those clips at some point and make them into a video and then if you guys like that i might make it an ongoing series type thing but anyway this is all for this episode so um hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next week